Africa. Primary education results is a departure from the norm in many ways. Not only were the results not released after Christmas, but the venue also shifted from Mitihani House to the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development. And the information about an event of such magnitude only came out less than an hour to its start. This move is among the latest reforms in the management of exams meant to restore the credibility and integrity of the examination system in the country. We have maintained very solid integrity in the management of this exam. According to Dr. Emedius Wanyama, an education expert, the short duration taken between the completion of examination and the release of results was a very deliberate move by the ministry. The other thing that we've seen in this was the minister moving ahead to reduce the time between two things actually, the time between the time they sit for examinations and the time the results come out. By shortening that period, you don't have any manipulation in between. Some of the changes include banning of use of clipboards and geometrical sets from examination rooms. Instead, candidates were required to carry their geometrical instruments and writing materials in a clear, see-through plastic paper. The use of mobile phones within the precincts of the examination centers were also banned for all involved during the written examinations. The role of principals or head teachers was reviewed to make them center managers in their examination schools, making them more accountable for the examination administration process. All teachers except those involved in the administration of practical subjects and boarding facilities were expected to remain out of schools during the examination season. Head teachers and principals of all schools pick the examination materials daily from examination containers and return the scripts to the containers at the end of the examinations. The problem that we had before was that uh, you have the teacher service commission that employs the teachers and you've got the schools which are the property of the Ministry of Education but they had no control over the human resources, the teachers, the, the head teachers. But now what we are seeing is that we are seeing the school teacher coming out, not just as an administrator, but the head teacher coming out as the manager. And it's in the interest of the head teacher, who is also the interface between the parents and the ministry, taking a responsibility. So today the parents can go to a school and not just hold the head teacher to account, but also hold him to account in terms of the process and the administration of the examinations. According to Anyama, while the approach is necessary, there's need to institutionalize the changes. Radical as they are, the measures can, however, be credited for the drastic reduction in exam irregularities this year. Caroline Kamara reporting for Channel 1, Nizam.